Agra House family. Hey y'all and welcome to Agra House Vlogs. I'm in my car. I just got through talking with the garbage sanitation engineers. The garbage guys. I don't know what they like to be called but it's three of them and when we talked to the city the city told us to put it out by the front sidewalk and I'm like there's a driveway right here. You're picking up trash literally right here. In the front of our house, you haven't picked up trash for like, you know, like the, there's like, I don't even know where the next trash pickup is. So, cause the next place down is a business and they have like a dumpster thing. And then, then there's some houses, but like there's a good old stretch. Whereas if we put it right here at the end of this driveway, then as they go down these houses, there's three houses on the street total. So they pick up one, and then they pick up two, three, and they pick up ours. It'd be simple. So I saw the garbage guys go down the street, and then they turned, and I'm like, but my garbage is, it's right here. Anyway, but they came back. As it turns out, they came back. And they, uh, so I ran outside. Ah, I didn't run outside. I quickly hurried, hurried outside. And I said, hey guys, um, the city told us that you prefer us to have it here, but would it be okay if we put it over here? It just would make sense. I'd go out to the kitchen, come out the door and just go chunk it right here. And they're talking about doing like 95 gallon or something, some kind of trash can. And I'm like, I'm not hauling that from, no. No, y'all need to fix this. Because in a few weeks, and just like two weeks, I'm going to have furniture. So, anyway. So, the guys said we'd actually prefer it if you put it over there. We weren't sure why you did it over here. Because <laughs> the city, one of your bosses, told me to. Or told us to. So, anyway. Now we can put it over here. So, I'm happy. What a great way to start a Tuesday. Plus, I have a closing on my light was on when I came out I don't know if I accidentally hit a button but I don't see it on now so um the uh I have a closing today at 11 so in two hours I have a closing and it's just right over there at that title company so that's fantastic and then I have what else oh at 12 so at 11 I have a closing at 12 which shouldn't take too long and then at 12 I have a another event a meeting and have it down at First State Bank. Hmm. Yeah, that one's at First State Bank. It's now called American National. But anyway, whatevs. So I'm, I'll go to that. And for some reason, I thought I had something else to do today, but I do not see it on my calendar. So I guess I'll be showing houses. I have a friend that's looking for a house. I have another friend who's a state rep. My eyes are already watering. I have another friend who's a state rep who's looking for lease space as well. So possibly showing her too unless she found something on her own or whatever so i also have mail little known fact or fun fact the mail doesn't have to pick up mail they just deliver mail and if they're delivering it to your address and you have something to be picked up well then they'll come get it but if you don't have something being delivered then you're just you know yeah so I put something out there, been out there for two days and nothing came. But here's another thing too. Well, I was only out there for one day, sorry. Because the two days would have been Sunday. And they don't pick up on Sunday even. They're closed. Well, they don't deliver mail on Sunday like that. So, um, what was I going to tell you guys? Yeah, the post office doesn't recognize this as an address yet, really. You know that informed delivery? Do you guys have that? We have that. And they don't recognize it as an informed delivery address because this, sorry, sorry, there's a hair on here, hold on. Okay, they don't recognize our address as an, like, regular address or whatever because I always feel like I need to go out, like, 80 yards because I'm just afraid that the garage door is going to hit my car when it's clearly not going to. So, they don't recognize our address as a real address because it hasn't had a house or mail delivery for probably 30 years one thing i don't like about i love these sunglasses i love how big they are i do not like that you can see my eyes because like if i want to roll my eyes at you or something i just rolled my eyes if i want to do that i can't um i can't if you're close to me because then you can see me <laughs> so 
not that I roll my eyes that much, but I guess I do because I think about that. So yeah, cute little houses on this street. All right, let's go get some hot chocolate. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's been a while. It's been forever, or as my daughter says, five ever. This is not today's topic, but look at my hair. So see how it's like flatter here and it's like humpier here? It's because I'm trying to do the middle part. You're probably gonna be staring at that for the rest of this hot chocolate chat, but try to focus y'all. What are your thoughts? This, this is today's topic y'all. What are your thoughts on what is appropriate to wear to the store when you're not feeling well? Let's set some variables in place. This person looked to be about in their mid-twenties. It was a female and they are presenting as a female and they just looked sick. They just had that, I do not feel well. I do not want to be moving around today, but I had to come to the store. They had on a gray t-shirt and like basketball, black basketball shorts. So I was digging the color vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then she had on black socks. And that was it. No shoes. No zapatas. I get it, girl. I get it. You don't feel good. But I also get the fact that take, take the time. Go ahead and put the shoes on. <laughs> I also disagree with people going up to the store wearing their pajama pants. So not a big fan of that. But like you had socks on put on the shoes just take that take that extra 10 seconds and slip on those shoes all right y'all that's what i want to talk about today what are your thoughts on what is appropriate attire to wear to the store when you do not feel well if you want to follow me on snapchat it's side of awesome and on instagram and youtube it's our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Here we go into Tom Thumb to get some hot chocolate because I need it. I may even get that for lunch, too, because I had that meeting at 12. It just depends on what time I get out of my closing. I'm off to my closing and I'm gonna be there probably a couple minutes late, but I had another client call and very upset. Not very upset, a little bit upset. And I had to had to bring her back down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's go to the closing. Okay, I just gassed up at the 7-Eleven slash 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 Exxon. I was on almost fumes, literally. And um, I tried to get an appointment with my nail lady today, and she's like, I'm all booked today, how about tomorrow? And I'm like, <laughs> I wanted it today. And then it looks like the place that I normally was going to over here, um, looks like something happened in their clothes. So I guess I'll wait till tomorrow, patience is a virtue, but also these look so bad. I'm gonna have to take them off. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyways, okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. Had my closing, it went well, and started posting on the old gram again. <laughs> Gonna start editing videos again very, very soon. Things are starting to start to gel, start to come together. Come together! I think I might go to Hobby Lobby really quick since I have nothing else to do for the rest of the day besides show some properties. But I haven't even set up those appointments yet, so we we'll shall we'll sh we'll sh we'll sh we'll see. We shall see. All right. Okay, I'm out here at Hobby Lobby, and they have tons of cute stuff, you guys, but I'm trying to be super selective because, again, remember, what we're bringing into the house is stuff we're really going to use, not maybe going to use, not hopefully going to use, really going to use, no, but I'll show you some of the cute stuff. So I really like this, but I already have a set, so I don't really need this one, but it's just cute. I think that's super cute. And this would be good to put like dish soap in and you can just tuck it under the counter when you're not using it. But I don't know what size dish soap I'm buying, so getting that today. Cute, cute stuff. I don't really do too farmhousey. I guess you could say like modern farmhousey kind of stuff. See, I like that one. 
It reminds me of something my daughter Sarah makes. I'm totally wasting time. I really should be at work doing some things. And I'm fixing to go, but I don't know. Isn't that cute? Just a little galvanized bucket thing. Don't need it. Oh, these are sweet looking too. Don't need it. Not really into farmhouse animals. But I will admit some of these chickens and pigs and cow things are pretty cute. This metal sign with the black and white is a new trend I'm seeing. And yeah. Looks really cute. Oh, see, sixty dollars. Good lord, it's on sale though for thirty five. So I am looking for a mirror to go over the fireplace. And so I was thinking like maybe a big round one or maybe one something like this. I was just gonna lean it against the fireplace, not like attach it in case I change my mind or like I change the decor up. I like this one, but they're not on sale yet. And it's $219. But I think they'd be look, look really pretty over the fireplace. And we have a big enough fireplace where we could put something, kind of a statement piece, I guess, if you will. And then I was gonna put, so like that, and then I would put like a little sign leaning against it, and maybe a couple of vases or something, some greenery, who knows. Kind of obsessed with the black and white stuff. Breathe to the fireplace, breathe. But again, I really don't need anything. <laughs> I just like looking. I also need a mirror um, for over the, not over, I need a mirror in my office for outfit of the day photos. So I'll need to look for something to go there. I'm not trying to be clutter, like cluttering up like every crevice. I'm just trying to be intentional about what we're putting in the space. Kind of Marie Kondoing it or Kondo Marieing it, which is, what is her name? I don't even know what her name is, but um see this one's nice but it's a little ornate a little ornate for me um to go by the fireplace uh, yeah my eyes are watering so bad oh uh, these are really pretty that would look nice on the fireplace see i like that but i'm not doing farmhouse so it's kind of modern classic farmhouse eclectic I would like it to be noted. Hold on, I've gotta help. This lady's carrying something. Okay. So I helped that lady carry out some stuff. It should be noted, but I was able to help her carry it out because I'm not carrying anything. I didn't buy a thing. I did waste some time though, which I really didn't have that much time to waste. I could have wasted time inside my own home, organizing it, putting things away, and or going to the storage unit and getting stuff out of storage, but I didn't. So, oh well. My eyes are watering so bad lately and the doctor gave me some more eye drops to try. I tried last year and I can't remember if they helped or not, but anyway, I'm gonna go get that prescription filled and hopefully not look like I'm like crying the whole day. It's just like silly. But anyway, I helped that lady. My good deed for the day. Okay, I brought a protein pack for lunch yesterday. I didn't eat it yesterday. I was going to eat it today, but I'm in the line at Taco Cabana. I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I look at myself in the mirror and I see my 80 chins. I know, but I, I need to get on track. I need to get focused. I'm really lacking motivation, um, not visual motivation, because this is motivation to get this in shape, but just like 
the willpower, the desire, the internal motivation, it's just not there. So I keep saying, oh, when I get the house in order, oh, when I get my office set up, oh, when I get blah, blah, blah. There's always something, some reason to delay it. And um, I just have to get my mind around the fact that, you know, what do I want most versus what do I want right now? So, and I'm focusing on what I want right now, which is tacos. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> I'm at home now, and I am just working. I am doing all the things. I'm actually um, working on Wing Mom's post for tomorrow, and I've got to schedule all those. Facebook is not allowing me to post as far in advance as I have been in the past. I was doing three, four months out. So then I wouldn't have to worry about anything. I'm still gonna do that far out. It's just gonna take me a little bit longer because the process in order to do it, I am not really, most of the posts I can't post. Like I would, I would set up four posts and I would post this one March 1st, April 1st, May 1st, June 1st, like something like that. Facebook's not allowing me to do that. So I've gotta figure out a way to go ahead and get stuff posted in advance at least a month or two so that way I have a little bit of wiggle room I'm gonna leave myself some room in the post as well to also like add something like oh and MTI got recognized it's a military training instructor oh one of those got recognized or this is new at Lackland or something like that give myself some wiggle room in some of those posting days to add some more current event types of stuff. So um, anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. And then we've got a whole album full of some pictures too that we have permission to post, but I haven't ever really posted them on the main page. So I'm gonna try to incorporate some of those as well, just to kind of give things a fresh vibe. And I've really mixed up some things this time and put some post in some unusual time slots so we'll see if that increases our engagement and that kind of stuff so I'm going to try to um, get that done tonight I've been also trying to help a couple of different clients look for spaces for lease and I'm going to be reaching out tomorrow to some folks that are wanting to sell so I'm not trying to rush anyone but I need some listings. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. And the cats are getting into trouble. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day and an awesome night. And I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. So I will see you tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. What do I have going on tomorrow that you guys can join me in on? Tomorrow I'm meeting with Beverly at 8. I'm meeting with um, the group for the downtown square revitalization at noon. Oh, creepy cat in the background. I'm meeting with them at noon to look at the review the website that we're doing. Castro the band, which is one of my favorite local bands, is performing tomorrow night at five, but I really doubt that I'll be able to go see them because it's downtown and I've also got some um, clients that I'm helping. But I also have a, I'm adding this right now, nail appointment. And that is gonna be at two. Because I have website stuff at I was going to try to do it, anyway, I just, I don't, sometimes it takes two hours, sometimes it takes an hour and a half, so I'm not sure how long it'll take, so I'm going to put that, I've got it scheduled for two tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be out by four, I hope, or even earlier, because I really need to show this one gal some properties, so that's what's the plan for tomorrow, and then on Thursday I have another meeting with Beverly, and then I have free Google training on Friday, and Aslan, our granddaughter, has a game. She does a fast pitch softball. And then next Wednesday, I'll be headed to, I've got to revise this, I'll be headed to Lakeland for a few days to uh, visit the folks there, visit some of our partners, and um, you're about to send changes. Send. I don't know who it's sending it to. Maybe Marvin? I don't know. Um, I've got to add the, can't, the uh, HOA meeting that 
I'm in charge of. <laughs> so, lots of stuff happening. But, that's not going to get over at 8. Let's put 9, just for kicks and grins. Anyway, so I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you have a pleasant night. I don't understand. Do you want to send, send it to who? Who's it being sent to? Oh, Marvin. Sorry, honey. Well, we'll have to take that off his calendar because he doesn't really have to go to that. Anyway, I won't have my hair done in time to go to the gathering, but that's okay. You'll just see my gray hairs. But, okay. So, let's get on with ad admin work and let you guys go and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.